Hey, what's up everyone? In this episode 14 of the interesting JavaScript library of the week series, I will show you a library which can be used to draw simple shapes or a combination of different shapes to show in our web pages. But these are not just regular shapes. They look like they have been hand drawn and can be useful in giving our web pages kind of a casual and fresh unique look. The name of the library is Rough.js and it has been quite some time since it has been initially released. Rough.js also supports SVG drawing so you can leverage that too if you are interested. It can be very useful when we want to have hand drawn shapes to complement the theme and function of our application but we also don't want to have predefined images saved on our application server for these hand drawn shapes. This utility then becomes even more useful when the shapes are dynamic based on user interaction. Maybe you want to display some kind of a whiteboard within your application. Rough.js is perfect in such cases when we want to display hand drawn shapes. You can check out the Rough.js API documentation to get to know how to draw these shapes and show them on the web page. The API documentation is mostly about drawing different shapes and the options that we can use with them. For example, you can draw a line by providing the values for x1, y1 and x2, y2 coordinates and you can also provide an optional options object. The options argument can be passed when calling individual shape functions. This gives us the flexibility to introduce a variety of visual elements and randomness to the shapes that we draw. So using Rough.js, we can draw circles, lines, curves, polygons and so on. We can also fill the shapes that we draw in a variety of ways and that too in a sketchy hand-drawn manner. To install Rough.js for your application, you can either execute the command npm install and then Rough.js or you can also fetch the Rough.js script into your application running in the client browser using its CDN URL. Let's now see how we can quickly start to use Rough.js in a simple web page. So this is Visual Studio Code and the first thing that I will do is to add some pretty basic HTML scaffolding. The next thing that I will do is to fetch the reference of Rough.js script and that can be done by adding a script element within the head which is pointing to the Rough.js CDN URL. Inside the body, the first thing that I will do is I will add a new canvas element with the ID as um, let's use canvas as the ID and for width, I'm going to use a pretty large value. Let's use 2000 and let's also use the same value for canvas height as well. The next thing that I will do is I will create a new script element. Inside this script element, I will write JavaScript code to create shapes using Rough.js. First, we will have to create a new canvas object, which can be done by calling rough.canvas and then Inside this function, we will have to provide the reference of the canvas element as an argument that can be done by simply calling document.get element by ID and then provide the ID of the canvas element, which is canvas. Now let's start by drawing a simple line using rough.js and that can be done by simply calling canvas.line and for this, we will have to provide the values for um, the two points of the line x1, y1 and x2, y2. So for that, I'm going to use x1 value as 50 and then 250 for y1. Let's use 500 for y2 and then again 250 for y2. Now let's save the page and see how it is looking in the web browser. To open this page in the web browser, which is Chrome, I'm going to use the live server extension so let's click on open with live server you can see here is our line and you can see that this line is not straight it is kind of looking like it has been drawn by a person's hand so this is how rough.js draws the shapes we can also provide an options object in which we can provide the attributes for the line which is being drawn so let's say we want to increase the width of the line and for that we need to use the property stroke width let's set the value as 5 you can see that the width has now increased but 
now the width is too much and it's not really looking like a hand drawn line so maybe we can reduce the width to some extent and now it's looking all right let's also provide the stroke color so this can be done by providing the value for the property stroke and let's use color green and now this line is now green similarly we can create other shapes too for example if you want to create a rectangle then you will just need to call canvas dot rectangle and you will have to provide the values for x and y and then width and height so i'm going to provide the values for x and y as 10 10 let's provide width as 200 height as 100 save the code you can see that rough js has created a new rectangle for us and like we did for line we can also provide an options object over here let's use some other properties over here so for this rectangle let's first set the roughness of the line so i'm going to set the value as 1.5 you can see that now the shape of the lines is not different or if you want to increase the value then you can do that too let's also provide the value for the fill color but you know what before we provide this value let's also provide a fill style now there are a number of different fill styles which are available for this example i am just going to use uh, you know what let's use dots so right now um, there are no dots but to see them i'm going to provide a fill color let's provide the fill color as green so you can see that this rectangle has been filled with green colored dots now you can also control the spacing between these dots and that can be done by providing the value of the property hash your gap let's provide the value as you know what 10 so now you can see that the gap between the dots has been increased and as a result there are fewer dots let's see another example i am just going to create a simple circle this can be done by calling the function canvas.circle and then providing the value for x y and radius so um, you know what let's provide the value for x and y as 220 so that the circle is going to overlap the um, the line which we have drawn let's provide the radius as 150 and here is our circle now for circle let's provide the options object and the properties which i'm going to provide let's first provide the fill style this time i'm going to use a different fill style so let's use zigzag and let's also provide a fill color and for that i'm going to use color red also let's provide the value for hash your gap to provide gap between those filled lines within the circle so for that i'm going to use the value as uh, you know what let's use five and now let's save the page and see so you can see that this circle has been filled with zigzag lines and the gap is now five you can see what will happen if we will provide a bigger hash or gap property value you can see that the distance between the line is now more than before so these were some of the shapes which you can draw using this library if you want to learn more about RoughJS, then you can visit its GitHub page. The link is provided in this video's description, which has detailed info about the usage. And of course, for the usage, you can always refer to the um, to the wiki link of RoughJS. There are a bunch of different methods which are available to draw a variety of different shapes like ellipses, you know, polygons, etc. And if you want to see what properties are available for the options, object which we provide as an argument then you can see the list of the properties over here there is roughness there is stroke stroke width which i have already shown you fill fill style this is an example of the shapes which you can draw so yep things like that and that should be everything this video has to offer if you like it then please don't forget to place a like on it and subscribe to this channel for more such videos i'm nitej and i will see you next time till then have fun